Good evening, Lunar Day is Monday, September 11, 2023, Jump Day 4, Tuesday at 12. All right, let's go. Well, no setups again tonight. There's not a whole lot out there right now, but we could see some setups and energies fairly soon. The 420 stocks, marijuana took off recently, and it's beginning to pull back a little bit, so we could see some setups there fairly soon. Within the energies, I'll show you one here in a second. Caught my eye, but it's got a lot of overhead supply. But based on recent action, we could see more and more setups there. So it's going to be really selective for a while here because overall the market is not doing fantastic. And secret of trading is surviving these less than ideal conditions, waiting for, you guessed it, ideal conditions. Not a bad day in the portfolio, especially given current conditions. We'll take a look at all that in just one second. This is one of the energies caught my eye, VTLE. You back it out a little bit, though. you got a mountain of overhead supply. So I'm looking. There's just not a whole lot to find lately. And there's some more sectors that are breaking down, so that's a bit of a concern. You can see all shorts tonight on the list. If it's flags, it's a potential short. I don't see any reason to go after any. I just want to show you what I'm seeing to sort of kind of fill in the gaps with the overall market. The MTH not looking so hot in here, as is Pulte and all these other home builders just not looking too good. But we're already short the KBH, and obviously that one hadn't paid off just yet. So let's just sit tight there. The reason I'm showing Meta and then I want to talk about Apple and all. Some of these leading stocks are looking toppy in here. Let's take a look at portfolio and then we'll pop out to the overall market. KBH had a bit of a rally but came back in by the end of the day. Still in the plus column nonetheless, but this one looks like a major top remains in place. Head and shoulder top, bow tie top, however you want to call it. Looks like a top. Hey, guess what? All time closing highs in KNF. Not going to argue with that. We're just slightly above the highest close here, so there's no need to bump the stop. However, if we do bang out new highs with a little bit of vigor, we'll start to trail that stop higher on a remainder. LFMD bounces back in here, beginning to set up these little railroad tracks, which is okay, but I sure would like to see it just bust out of the top of the range and not look back for a while. Let's take a look at the overall markets and some sector action. First of all, let's take a look at the S&P 500. S&P 500, okay day overall, up a little bit more than half of a percent, almost three quarters of a percent. I wouldn't get too excited just yet, though, based on the sector action and based on the intermediate term action in here. You know me, I sure like to see it break out to new highs and not look back for a while. Let's get some moving averages in here. So you can see back up at the 50 today, nothing magical about that just yet, but above the bow tie moving averages too. And they're in mixed order right now, not quite proper order to the upside. Correction, they are in uptrend proper order. Uh, surprisingly, they are. Anyway, we closed above the 50, as you can see, but not a whole lot to get excited about that there just yet. Back to chart out a little bit. Still this bit of this head and shoulder top work. And you know me, I sure like to see it bust out and not look back for a while. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ Composite. Decent day there, too. Up a percentage change. I'll take it. I'm just not going to get too excited just yet based on the sector action. Let's see what's going on in the Rusty. As you can see, a little bit of an opening gap reversal there. Still did have about a quarter percent on the day, but still wide and loose and sideways. Bowtie proper order to the downside here and well below the 50 simple moving averages. Energy's outside day down. Not the end of the world. They could actually use a little bit of a correction you know me, I like to see things go straight up first. But if we do get a correction here or continue correction, like I said, we could see quite a few setups fairly soon. Financial still a pretty toppy in here, as I would say, quite a bit of a head and shoulders top in the works there. Defense breaking down in earnest today, so that's fairly ugly, down a percent and a half. And you can see it's kind of in this range for a while and now beginning to break down in earnest. Not the end of the world, but which each with each new sector brings some concerns. As I said a second ago, the reason I showed you Facebook or Meta is because some of these prior leaders are breaking down, and that's not a good thing. It's interesting. I'm working on a presentation for my Livermore series, and he's talking about all these different things when these leaders begin to break down and other signs and signals. So that's not too good for now. Obviously, if, if they begin to rally and make new highs, then we've dodged a bullet. But for now, I would remain a little concerned in here. MNC... Home builders still look like a top remains in place, but just kind of hanging in there for now. Retail, depending on where you look, this looks okay. But you back to chart out a little bit, and you can see it's not really that close to all-time highs. Let's take a look at the RTH. Not quite as good as, as that index. So retail's kind of mixed, but it had a decent day today. And a few big updates, obviously, would put you back to marginal new highs. So that would certainly be 
a good thing. Let's take a look at a couple other areas. Transport's a little bit of a bounce, but they've rolled over, as you can see. A lot of support below, but rolled over. They rolled over nonetheless. Let's take a look at software. Software just kind of drifting higher in here. I'm not going to argue with it because it's going up in bow tie proper order and above the 50 and all. But I sure would like to see it bang out some new highs sooner rather than later. Finally, the semis. Not a whole lot new to report here. Still well below the 50. Simple moving average. Landry light below, as you can see. Mostly sideways, shorter term. And longer term, as I've been saying, I nausea. And we got thwarted at these prior highs. So kind of mixed to somewhat ugly still out there and i think now's the time in fact i know now's the time to consider continue i should say sitting on your hands and you could always just draw an arrow back in time or a line back in time you can see we had made a whole lot of forward progress in quite some while this is not a trending environment obviously and as trend followers you want to sit on your hands until the setups show up i know i say that every night but we'll find some setups just be patient Everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.